video in the How to Make a Scatter Plot series of videos. The first one showed you how to do it on Excel. This one is on Google Spreadsheets, which is what we recorded our data from this lab on anyway. So here is an actual spreadsheet of one of the groups that has recorded their catapult data. You'll notice that there are trial numbers, angle, mass, distance, and notes. So in order to have this be a uh, scatter plottable set of data, you have to do a little rearranging, which I did. I just moved over to the right, and I took all the masses, and I put them in a column right here, as you can see. And then I broke it up. The Each column to the right is its own angle. And it doesn't matter if there's only one or if there were several of the data points that go with each of these. But that's how you do it. You take as many as you need and just fill them in across. So I took 205 and then I took the first 205s that I could find. So this was 45 degrees, 3.7. So I went 205, go down 45, and I ended up with 3.7 here. And then the next one was a 90, put that here. And then you just fill them in um, using as many boxes as you need to. The formats could be a little different than they were over here, but then they are scatter plottable. So then all you need to do is once all the data is in, and you may have some blank spots. Actually, this process is really useful for seeing where you still need data. For example, this group still needs um, some, they have no 90 degree trials for their 5 gram mass, which is the nickel. So those need to be finished in order for this to be a valid data set. The next thing you do to make the graph is you select everything in the area, make the smallest rectangle that will incorporate all the data, even if it has some blank boxes, that's fine. Then you go up here to the little insert chart icon. We go to charts. We want a scatter. This one, the scatter chart. Hit it. And then boom, your chart is basically done for you. It has all the angles over here. We need to put in a title and two axis titles. So on this vertical axis, we need to edit it. So what we'll do is insert it into the document until we get a hand. Okay, move it to where we need to move it. And then we'll edit it. Chart title, and we can say the fact of mass and angle on launch distance. And the left, these are the distance in meters. This is the dependent variable. And then we can go down here. No, I didn't take distance in meters. Press enter. Oh, there we go. And down here, these are mass in grams. Enter. And then it's basically done. In order to print this out on its own sheet, what you can do is go here. You could save it as an image. It downloads automatically. So we go here. And there it is. You have a pre-made chart. Doesn't look great. Another way you can do it is to take this and move it to its own sheet or copy the chart. And then you can go into Word or something else and hit Command V. Nope, that's not it. And move it into whatever Word document you're using. You can just drag it in. All right, I hope this was helpful.